Hey YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here, how are you? I'm on vacation with my wife, celebrating our 35th anniversary. And of course, I found a pet store, Lotus Aquarium. Let's go inside and take a look. And uh, I already took a little walk through. I like what I see. I'm gonna be on my phone, so you're gonna see a little shakiness, but uh, I hope you enjoy the tour. The owner of the shop was very, very helpful and very friendly. And when I introduced myself and told him what I did, he uh, put one of my live streams up on a big TV screen he has over the cash register. I thought that was kind of funny listening to one of those as I walked around. He had the normal selection of uh, foods that you'd expect to see and some uh, very nice examples of planted tanks. And including this one here, we had some very colorful fish, including a very beautiful red red beta you can see in there very 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 nice lots of uh, selection of wood mesquite some pieces here some hanging on the wall he also had some very large large pieces that you put into something like a 300 or 500 gallon tank in the back of the store great selection of plants i'm pretty sure he's using some some co2 in these tanks the plants were very very lush this tank had a mixed bag of you know, Mabuna and OBs and just a variety of African cichlids right next to a, um, a tank with some small discus, some gurami, and just sort of a mixed mixed tank with some very beautiful, um, very beautiful fish. Some of the markings and coloring on, look at this one here, the blues and red on this bed are just absolutely beautiful. If I had bed, I certainly would pick one of those up for sure. The ever popular uh, glowfish that you're seeing more and more throughout the hobby. Certainly, if it helps get uh, people into fish keeping, I think it's a good thing. I've even seen glow glow bettas uh, over at uh, PetSmart. That's a nice selection of uh, goldfish, fancy goldfish, and koi, and a variety of them in the same tank. And the ever popular flower horns. Several of them. Very similar uh, appearance. Probably brothers or sisters. In this case, all brothers, all males. A little yellow on the lips. Red and black in the body. Very, very pretty. Very uh, responsive. Very interactive. I think they all wanted to take a bite out of me. Kind of cute. They're kind of growing on me. I was not really interested in them at first. You know I'm a sucker for discus. At some point, I am going to set up a discus tank. These were really good size. I would say about maybe six, seven inches head to tail, top to bottom, with very vibrant colors. I thought they were very, very pretty. And if I had a discus tank currently, I certainly wouldn't hesitate, hesitate to pick one of these up. I really, really liked them. He had some smaller varieties in the tank, just to the left of this one. These were the big boys. Truly a beautiful fish. Nice selection of um, supplies and pumps, foods and wafers, kind of stuff you usually see. Nice selection of frozen foods. I asked him how the COVID-19 was impacting business, and he said it was it was actually, business was pretty good. He felt people were staying home and taking care of their tanks and perhaps being more involved in the hobby. He was a plant selection that was kept kind of in a rainforest setting and some sample tanks with, uh, with an example behind them of a beautiful planted tank, what you could do with them. He did express some concern related to COVID that people were coming in with strong uh, disinfectants on their hands and that these could possibly contaminate the tanks so he was very careful making sure people didn't get into the tanks necessarily or into the water some nano tanks here along with a selection of substrate some of these rimless tanks you could probably put on a, on a desktop very small this is a very large tank with a mix of south american and uh, african cichlids and other fish like that one there with the beautiful striped tail like a jewel cichlid maybe even a jack dempsey i'm not sure what that cichlid is this one for sure looks like an african cichlid 
perhaps a hybrid. This was a big fish. This is over five, maybe five, six inches. This was the owner's personal tank. I would say this is over 500 gallons. I think it stood over five feet tall, maybe three or four feet from front to back. Just a giant community tank. Absolutely beautiful. You could, you could literally get inside of that. He even had a, um, a reptile collection, some geckos in these Zoomed enclosures. You can see here a little, I think this might be a bearded dragon possibly. Very cute. Even a few turtles, a little box turtle making its way across the back there. And a few of the more uh, common red-eared turtles in this, uh, in this setup here. And if you're into reptiles, he definitely has every possible supply you could uh, you could need. Great selection of plants again throughout the store. Good good selection of rocks and uh, a lot of very small you know fish to be great for you know like nano tanks, including these guppies. He had some guppy. Some guppies that uh, were very, very pretty. Great markings on the body. Some of them had those scissor tails that you see sometimes, the rounded, um, not the traditional fan tail. Very nice guppy selection. Again, more planted type of community setups, as well as uh, the use of some of the nano tanks little hill stream loach there and um, very small shrimp great example to sort of show the folks who are considering buying a nano tank and what can be done with it not sure what this little guy was maybe that's a shrimp the black and white stripes didn't think it was a loach very 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 unusual usual collection of betta in cups and some of them were very, very impressive, very pretty like this one here. More beautiful guppies. Certainly a great guppy selection for anyone who is into that. So that was a Lotus Aquarium. Uh, what did you think? Post your comments below. And uh, if you're in the area, Lawndale area, give them a visit, uh, Lotus Aquarium. We've got to support those uh, smaller privately owned uh, fish stores all right, they're kind of the uh, backbone of the uh, of the hobby. So if you're in the area, stop on by. Tell them you saw the Ben Ochard video. All right, thanks for tuning in, my friends. See you next time.